Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases uh, for Games Workshop and Forge World products. Now I want to say a huge thank you to all the subscribers um, that have recently joined to the channel and in particular all of you new Patreons. Thank you so much. December's uh, free model giveaway will be of the Forge World Horus Heresy Traitor Librarian in Cataphracty Terminator Armour. It is a Games Workshop HQ exclusive miniature. You can only get it from the HQ in Nottingham, England. Um, and the winner will be announced on December the 19th. All you've got to do to enter into winning the model is just be a Patreon on the channel. The link is in the description. Um, let's jump on over to the Warhammer Community website straight away. And we'll go back in time uh, a week ago. Um, so Sunday they showed uh, a little glimpse on Warhammer Live, a glimpse into Palantir, um, which is a Middle Earth strategy game for Lord of the Rings and Hobbit, and showed a character series um, of Thorin or Oakenshield and Azog the Defiler. Um, I love the ice um, on their bases and the fact that they, you know, the whole diorama really sort of um, tells a story from. Uh, the Hobbit series. Pre-order preview, uh, Vigilus Defiant and chapter approved. I think I put a couple of pictures of this on uh, my Instagram, but uh, Vigilus Defiant has gone all up for pre-order today. In the most recent White Dwarf magazine, I think I said it would cost you 45 pounds. That's what White Dwarf said. It was printed there. Um, of course it's gone up, but I had an inkling that it would be 30 pounds. And that's what it's pre-order for today. Um, Furthermore, uh, they've got the special, the limited edition, and Marius Kalgar and his two bodyguard, and Harkin Worldclaimer, uh, the Chaos Raptor model, and Chapter Approved 2018, and so on. Um, so they had a little bit of a, a preview, a pre-order preview, um, a couple of articles about Chapter Approved match play, open play, um, Warzone Vigilus, a new theatre of war. Um, this just went through um, some of the events that are happening on Vigilus and uh, different um, battle zones, uh, as, along with specialist de detachments um, for many armies. Uh, there was a rumour engine um, for the 4th of December, which is just a you know, it looks like a, a torch. It's going to be quite interesting, whatever that turns out to be. Necromunda, uh, I think in the Arbiter's uh, guidebook, you can choose a monster now, um, which is obviously these Chaos Spore models. I'm not a huge fan of them, to be fair. I much prefer the old Chaos Spore model. I know that a lot of people like these uh, miniatures anyway. Minus Calgon, Hark, and Worldclaimer. There was a rules preview. Um, of course, uh, Hark and Worldclaimer looks pretty decent uh, he's got a hell spear and a lightning claw it seems um, and you can only include one of him his stat line's pretty good it's got nice movement speed um, and the hell spear is a decent ap minus three damage d3 weapon marnius Kalga himself um, has a very strong stat line um, i like how he can move six inches and he's got the gauntlets of ultramar uh, which have a very decent melee attack it's strange that he's strength four instead of strength five but he does have eight wounds and toughness five and six attacks uh he's also got uh his invulnerable four plus and halves any damage that that he suffers uh so it's a really nice custom suit of mark 10 gravis armor and um, some people were thinking oh it's terminator armor nope it's just gravis armor so there's a rules preview of him and uh world claimer they mentioned about new and improved podcasts uh the Advent Calendar, the first five stories for Black Library. It went through those. And then chapter approved narrative play, chapter approved uh, Adeptus Sororitas. There's also Middle Earth uh, Throne of Skulls. Uh, Imperial Specialist Detachments Rules Previews. Um, so this was is going to be for uh, Vigilist Defiant. Um, so there's a look at all of these um, detachment rules and then the faction focus for Adepta Sororitas. In chapter approved 2018, uh, you've got the beta version of the codex Adepta Sororitas, uh, which is great that they're giving you a beta codex in there. I will of course be having a first look at chapter approved 2018 and going through all of the new um, rules and things with you uh, through, through the book. Licensed products, and um, they had an article about this. There was a Christmas jumper, if you really want a Christmas jump, jumper, a, a mug, uh, a nice looking book 
um, that you can put all of your army lists in, um, some champions. If you really fancy some leggings, then you can go for them. And then there's this awesome uh, one sixth scale diorama of Rabute Gilliman um, about to slice this um, Chaos Space Marine into two. If we click on there, it says handmade object dot com and one of these will set you back one thousand and ninety eight dollars um it's saying it's in stock um yeah uh, i thoroughly believe that but they also give you uh, an option of um paying it in monthly installments if you really want if you really want this um kind of one sixth scale diorama um it looks absolutely epic though um but that's that as licensed product and also there's a hoodie and t-shirts and a monopoly which i really really like the look of um i especially like the mag the you know the metal uh, markers there's i think the tyranid uh, necrons uh, primary space marine and um, that looks like some kind of orc chopper maybe an eldar symbol and a chaos symbol really really like the look of that and um i'll try and get my hands on that um if possible um, they also had uh, a new from Forge World article um, showcasing Necromunda and Blood Bowl. So you've got um, these new resin models for uh, Denethor in the grip of madness, uh, wielding a flaming torch. And also uh, Denethor is Arulus, a captain of the Citadel Guard. Necromunda, they had some new uh, weapons for the Cordor gang. Um, so we'll have a look at them. And Blood Bowl is an alternative set of sculpts uh, for... Uh, the orc team. Uh, there's season two uh, for role models um, for Warhammer Age of Sigma and Vigilus Defiant, your campaign toolbox. Um, very nice article here going into more of the campaigns of um, Vigilus and more of the battle zones and the way it's all planning out right now. It is book one, um, no doubt there will be more books, um, but uh, that's it for all the news. Let's jump on over to Forge World first of all and have a look at all the pre-orders and here straight away on the first page is an advert for the Blood Bowl models. So we'll just hit new and we'll look at pre-orders and we'll go uh, high to low and there we go. So you've got um, Necromunda House Cordor fully armed gang so you get your box of the, the Cordor gang and all of these uh, different weapon options. £57, a fair bit of money, but if you just want one gang and this is the gang you like the look of, then to you it might be worth um, these upgrades for these uh, little resin uh, weapons. And what you get in this set is you get uh, the House Cordor gang and you'll get uh, weapon set 1, which includes 17 resin weapons, and weapon set 2, which contains 19 um, resin weapons. So you get as many weapons as you possibly can and uh, then you can just mix and match um, all of the weapons there but uh, no doubt you probably need two gangs of ten uh, to use all, all of the weapons but that's uh, all of the new weapons that's uh, included in that set and you get the gang Blood Bowl uh, Gouged Eye Full Roster um, in this set uh, you get uh, 16 Blood Bowl players uh, with the various poses and you get um, which is uh, 12 miniatures and you also get the Blood Bowl Orc Team Booster which is 4 so you get the 4 booster models and then you get the 16 normal plastic miniatures all for £45 and um, this is the Team Booster uh, containing the 4 I really like the look of these um, if you've got an Orc um, team then uh, they're definitely going to um, boost them um, and uh, set them apart from other Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl teams. For some reason you've got chapter approved on here, uh, which is also on the Games Workshop's website. You've got the enhanced edition and the um, ebook. Then you've got Denethor and Aralas, uh, 20 pounds here for both of these. So yeah, technically they're 10 pounds each, which isn't too bad for the amount of detail and things on them. And uh, yeah, if you're a Lord of the Rings player, these are definitely for you. Um, these are the two weapon sets down at the bottom, uh, weapon set 1 and weapon set 2. Uh, weapon set 1 includes a long rifle, two axes, a shock baton, a heavy flamer, two-handed hammer, flamer, um, reclaimed auto pistol, two fighting knives, a hand flamer, a chain glaive, three stub guns, a maul and a sawn off shotgun. Um, the weapon set 2 includes heavy stubber, a two-handed axe, three reclaimed auto pistols, 
one sawn off shotgun, three mauls, two hand flamers, a chain glaive, two axes, incendiary charge, a flamer, a fighting knife, combi auto gun flamer, and a flail. So that's it for Forge World. Um, nowhere near as many pre orders and things up as last weekend when we had the Nemesis uh, Warbringer and we had all the Blood Angels uh, releases along with those two uh, consoles. Um, let's jump on over to Games Workshop and see what's going on there because there is a lot going on this weekend. If we hit new and exclusive, Marnius Kalgar is back. If you've been living under a rock for the past three weeks, um, then you probably won't know that uh, he's had the new Primaris upgrade treatment, he's had those three organs, and he did die. He died in the process, but um, through space magic they've managed to bring him back, and um, for some reason I'm showing delivering in Japan right now, which obviously isn't right. And there we go. So you've got Minus Kalgar's uh, Indomitus Crusaders, £117.50, uh, looks like you get the Vanguard Veterans, two boxes of Stern Guard, and... Uh, his box set, then Herald of the Apocalypse Vanguard, I don't think that saves you any money by the way, the Herald of the Apocalypse Vanguard detachment, you get Harkin World Claimer, and you, it looks like you get three boxes of Raptors, I want to say, 15 Raptors, um, so 15 and World Claimer, the Imperium Nihilus Vigilus uh, Defiant Collector's Edition, £50, so it's not the £100, which is what I think they had it going for in the White Dwarf magazine. There are only 1,300 copies of this. Uh, you've got a soft touch slip case, a ribbon marker, gilt page edges in silvery blue, um, and a wraparound uh, piece of art. So similar to all the other collector's edition um, books, just um, if you've had one before, then you know what to expect. It includes the six uh, battle zones, 12 narrative play missions, specific rules um, for using uh, and data sheets for Marnius, Victrix Guard and the Harkin World Claimer and 22 specialist detachments. So it looks like um, from what I can see you're only getting three data sheets and then 22 specialist detachments. So if you were looking for lots and lots of data sheets um, this isn't for you. This just mainly focuses on the campaign and you're only going to get a few data sheets um, but it does give you a chance to use those specialist detachments. Um, chapter Approve has also been up for pre-order this weekend, £45 for the Warlord edition. Uh, you get the Chapter Approve book, um, which we'll just have a look here. Again, it doesn't say uh, that it's hardback anywhere, although that picture um, looks like it's not hardback, it's softback, unfortunately, which does um, suck a little bit. But what you also get in this Warlord edition is you get um, a host of exclusive content. Uh, a roster pad to write down your armor lists, uh, data cards, stratagem cards for the Sisters of Battle, um, easy reference mission cards, uh, and a sheet of tokens and two trackers. Um, so it's nice that you get the Sisters of Battle uh, stratagem cards, even though it's a beta codex, but that can be yours for £45. So Marnius Calgar himself, Ultramins Chapter Master, £32.50. Not too bad when you consider the other... Um, uh, Fall of Cadia, uh, you know, box sets and, and the, the, the books that they brought out with them. Um, let's be honest, uh, this model on his own would be at least £25. So for um, £7, you, you're getting two um, more Space Marines, um, you know, Primera Space Marines as well. Um, I think he's a nice looking model. Uh, I don't know whether he needed an upgrade, um, you know, but they want to move the narrative uh, on, and that's what they've done. Um, you know, by giving him the primary uh, treatment, um, it looks like you probably get two sprues in this set, um, which isn't much. You're paying sort of sixteen pound or so for each sprue, uh, which is a fair amount. Um, but I'll leave it up to you whether you think that's. Um, worth it or not. If you've got an Ultramoon's army, of course, um, it's a no-brainer. Then you've got Imperium Nihilus Vigilus Defiant, so this is the standard edition, but it is hardback. It tells you that there's uh, it's 200 pages. It says new data sheets, but I think there's only going to be uh, two or three in there. Um, then you've got Ultramoon's Honor Guard. Uh, they're re-releasing these. These are resin and plastic, so I think the plastic is the bases and the resin are the models themselves. I do have these already in um, metal. If you don't already have them, I'd strongly suggest get, getting them in resin. Um, 
just because they're lighter, um, they're easier to work with, and uh, all the rest of it. Uh, so £27.50 for, for those. Um, then you've got the Enhanced Edition, which is £25 for Vigilus Defiant, the Enhanced Edition for the Chapter Approved. Then they're releasing the Raptors separately, and the Warp Talons. I think you can make the Warp Talons from the Raptors. I think it's a, um, a set. Like it says five Raptors or five Warp Talons, so don't get too confused about that kit. I don't know how old that kit is. I think it's relatively new, I want to say. Um, but you can have those. You can um, order those to go with uh, Harkin World Climate if you really want. Um, book 53 of the Horus Heresies by Guy Haley and it's called Titan Death, uh, that's in hardback for £20. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this one, um, obviously I've got quite a few Titans and uh, this is going to be a great little uh, read to accompany when I'm building them. Harkin World Claimer, Herald of the Apocalypse, £20. I'm not sure about the pricing of this model. Maybe they could have done him for 18 but 20 is, is almost Primaris, you know, £22.50 price. But he is in a very, very kind of active pose. He's, I think one of the reasons is because he comes in his, his own like special box. It might have been better to have him with two kind of Raptor bodyguards and sell them for £25 or maybe even 30 but still. Finally, you can get the Necron Cryptek, which was only available in the Forgebane set. Lovely, lovely uh, Necron model here um, in plastic, and he's just going to be coming in a clamshell of two sprues, but I really, really like this model. Chapter Approved 2018 edition. Um, this looks like, from that picture, um, hardback, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be softback from the other picture that they've had of the Warlord edition. Anyway, that can be yours for £20. It's got probably more data sheets in it than the uh, Vigilus Defiant book, which is quite strange. Um, and also, it's going to have all of the Sisters of Battle, uh, you know, beta codex. If you've got Sisters of Battle Force, or if you're planning to get them, um, you know, use these rules until they come out uh, sometime next year. You've got a 140,000 carry case for £20. I wonder how many models you can fit in there. Apparently you can fit 20 in there. Um, so they've taken the what looks to be the Kill Team set and um, created this. So this is great for a patrol detachment and it actually says Kill Team too. Um, £20 though, I, I remember when the big plastic cases uh, were think they, they were £20 or 25 and now you've got carry cases that fit 20 models in so think about that. You've got the ebook um, versions of Vigilus Define and Chapter Approved and then you've got uh, Knights of the Empire for some reason you can't click on that or pre-order it but then you've got an audio CD which is Hubris of Monarchia which is £12. Then a Vigilus campaign badge. I think you only have to um, pre-order Imperium Nihilus Vigilus Defiant. So you pre-order that book and you get a little badge. Um, that's pretty good. That's the size of the badge. It's going to be absolutely tiny um, because that's a mini marine, basically. <laughs> but yeah, you can get that if you if you choose to buy um, the codex from there. But they are limited. Uh, but I doubt they'll they'll run out of stock, to be honest. And that is all of the news and pre-order videos for Forge World and Games Workshop uh, this week. Um, as always, I just want to say a huge thank you again to all the subscribers and new viewers, um, and particular you Patreons that make this content possible. Stay tuned for the channel because I'm continuing with releasing uh, daily content all the way through to 2019 and possibly even further. And just a reminder that uh, you've still got another week or so um, to become a Patreon and uh, have a chance of winning that Warhammer HQ exclusive miniature, which I'll send anywhere in the world for free. But I want to hear from you. Uh, please do put in the comments below which is your favourite model this weekend up for pre-order. Please do put it in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.